hi love bugs welcome back to my channel i am not even going to give you guys some long drawn out excuse about why i have been mia for so long let's just say life has been lifing but the important part is that i am back i am better than ever and i'm so excited to give you guys this content as we enter my favorite season of the year after you're finished watching the video or while you're still watching it be sure to check out the description box down below as i will have all of the products mentioned in this video linked i also have gone above and beyond and found the best plug for you guys my fragrance dealer my best fragrance discounter is joma shop y'all they have the best deals okay i actually had the pleasure of creating my own landing page where i was able to pick out a few of my favorite fragrances and put it all on like one profile so you guys can easily shop my favorite collections i went and found you guys the best possible prices for quality that i trust because i know sometimes you guys will be in the comment like oh such and such has it cheaper I might have gotten an expired bottle from them. You don't know why I'm not promoting that company. <laughs> but I say that to say, I did do the research. I did try to get you guys like the best possible deals from places that I trust and whatever is the best place to buy it from will be linked down below. So I'm sure it'll be links to like different places and things like that. But whatever's gonna be the best bang for you, whatever's gonna be the best quality for my subbies is what you're gonna get. Today, we are talking about the hottest men's fragrances for summer 2020. Yeah. All of these fragrances exude a certain energy that just screams summer. There are no actual rules to fragrance, okay? But there are certain fragrances that are better for the summer, spring, winter, or fall. I personally prefer the lighter scents, the fresher scents in the summertime as they perform really well when they project in areas of high heat. The first fragrance we're gonna talk about today for the fellas is Amorous Ohm by Maison Francis Kitchell. Oh my God, this is so, <laughs> y'all know I'm so quick to smell a mint and be like, oh my God, it's so sexy, but honey, I wouldn't even show it if it wasn't sexy. If I don't wanna smell it on my man, I'm not showing it, like what for? <laughs> Mm, this is mandarin, rosemary, amorous, iris, chocolate, coconut. It is so uh, fresh and sexy. Mm. It's like in the opening, you mostly get like this floral citrus vibe. And then once it dies down, it actually has like a little bit of oud in the base, which is crazy because this is a toilet. Which, by the way, I'm going to say if you're going to get the amorous ohm, um, definitely just go for the extrait do not waste your time getting the toilet this is the toilet it smells phenomenal but it will not last if you like the smell just go ahead and get the extrait believe it or not this is actually mfk's number one selling men's fragrance you know the whole line is unisex but you know ohm femme things like that are kind of suggestive to gender but well, there is an amorous femme that's meant to be like the more feminine take on this amorous fragrance Mm, but it is so, it just makes me happy. This is one I smell like, it's like a fun day date with your man in the summertime. Like it, it's freshness makes it wearable and like everyday life. It's definitely not like date night sexy because it's just very like light, fresh, clean, but um, it's not like that typical clean smell that I usually like. Like I like a soapy, sometimes depending on the fragrance, I like a powdery fragrance. This doesn't give, at least to me, like powdery or soapy, but it's like a, a masculine, fresh, citrus. It's just, it's just clean. I, I just love it. As a guy, I would definitely wear this to like a summer wedding, outdoors, you know, the whole vibe. You're on Martha's Vineyard. Mm. And the thing is, this is definitely not the scent for the groom. It's not the scent I would wear even as the groomsman probably, but I would wear it attending the wedding. But this is like, this is like silent luxury. That's what it gives. It's like, it's subtle but it's such a statement. It still gives everything it needs to give. I can guarantee you're gonna get compliments from women. It just is everything. It's so nice. It's perfect for spring and summer. 
I, honestly, I, I think you could definitely get away with this in every season, but 100% smell this and immediately think summer. You could do spring as well, but I can't really see this being one that I would suggest in like the winter time, just cause you need something really, really like deep and heavy to cut through that cold and allow your fragrance to project even though it's like zero degrees outside. This next one, I'm claiming it right now. This is going to be the it boy summer fragrance this year like i'm telling you it is the best bang for your buck it is the most like perfect summer scent ever and it's not even expensive the small bottle is like 82 bucks the large bottle is 100 what am i talking about why am i giving you prices to something and you don't even know what the name of it is it is the valentino um you know how they have like the donna born in roma and they had like a whole collection of flankers afterwards. They had the Yellow Dream. And then just recently they came out with the Coral Fantasy flanker for both the men and the women. But this men's Coral Fantasy? <laughs> that's what he wearing in my fantasy. That's all, that's all I know. <laughs> I don't know what you don't know, but uh, it's given fantasy. <laughs> mm. Drop the drawers, just drop them. Just, <laughs> just, just come on up out of them. Come on up out of them drawers, girl. Yep, that's the one right there. That's gonna do it. That's gonna do it right there every time. This is red apple, cardamom, bergamot, lavender, tobacco leaf, patchouli. Oh my goodness. It is a burst of fruitiness, but it is so sexy and freaking intoxicating. I'm telling you, like, bye. Have not shown this to one woman, one man, anyone, even if you don't identify as anything, you're gonna like this. If you are a person that likes to be androgynous and like, this is it, this is the scent you need because a woman can pull this off and a guy can pull this off and it does not smell like it leans too much in either direction, neither masculine or feminine. Now, is it masculine? Is it sexy? Absolutely. You guys know that I'm not really the biggest fan of sweet fragrances on guys because that's just my personal preference. Like if you borderline smell like perfume, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I have enough sweetness for the both of us with, I mean, the proof is in the pudding, okay? I don't need you to smell sweet. I don't need you to smell like we both have on perfume. That's just how I feel. But this has the perfect amount of sweetness. It is not too sweet. Y'all know that I am not a one million girl. I do not like one million by Paco Rabanne. Now the um, silver one, the one million lucky, better. You know, the little new robot one he came out with, pretty good stuff. But that original one million, it just is entirely too sweet. And I actually do know several women who wear it like as a perfume. Don't wanna smell that on my guy. But this is like fruity, tropical goodness done right. And still with that masculine element to it. Like I could wear this and I'm not gonna smell too manly. It's gonna bring out all of those fruity notes. But on a guy, it's also not gonna smell too sweet. Like, this is why I'm just like so obsessed with fragrance because it's just crazy how chemicals work, how it mixes with our body chemistry, our oils, and can create something totally different on every person. Yeah, this is stunning. I'm telling you right now, mark my words, this is the fragrance that you need this summer, period. This smells like a Sunday in Miami. Y'all did a yacht party on the water. You go to the hotel, you change, and then you go to live. And yeah, it's just giving like sexy Miami nights because it's fruity and tropical and it makes you feel like you're on vacation, but it's still masculine and sexy. I can guarantee women are going to stop, drop, and roll, honey, because you're going to be on fire. It smells amazing, I'm telling you. Mm. Hmm. This right here. Valentino, you. <laughs> yeah. Now this next one is for my sophisticated brothers, okay? It's not for you kitty kitties. It's not for, oh, I just want something. No, we're not playing games. This is uh, Reflection Man by Amouage. Y'all know how much I love this one. I have talked about it in several videos. It's actually my favorite Amouage fragrance for men. Oh, it's so like, 
powdery, fresh, clean. I tell everyone it smells like a man in a crisp white button up shirt. He's brunching on South Beach. He's got his Lambo parked next to him. He just valeted it, even though it's like two feet away from him. And it's just a vibe. Like the shirt has to be white and it has to be steamed properly and ironed. And you need a really nice designer shade, fresh haircut. This is just, it's giving luxe. It's giving like luxury daytime very sophisticated definitely could wear to a wedding this could be an attendee of the wedding and it also could be a groomsman like it could be the father of the bride it it you you wear this you have some sort of importance in the room you know what i'm saying like oh my goodness i love it okay and homage is not for everyone it takes an acquired nose to appreciate their fragrances let's just say that but this one is the most mass appealing in my opinion out of their line it's their number one seller for men in the u.s out of the homage line um and i can understand why because compared to the other fragrances like epic man interlude lyric man this is a lot more easy on the nose for the american consumer you know we got we got weak noses over here Ugh. i get weak in the knees every time mm. It's just so elegant and regal and classy. And it's just like, again, that that silent luxury vibe that I said you get from Emerus Ohm because it's just like, you smell this and you know it costs some money. You know it is expensive. You know that you spent some money to smell like this. But at the same time, the fragrance is still soft and it's not super loud and in your face. Now, in terms of performance, oh, it's it's beautiful it's gonna project it's going to last for eternity like that's homage in general i mean these are middle eastern fragrances they're extremely concentrated you know what you're getting when you are buying fragrances from freaking oman jasmine roly ylang ylang like i really can't say enough good things about this fragrance um again like i said it's a little more mature so all my young guys that's just looking for an instant whatever like try something different but this right here looks it's it's like next level i would picture a man like shamar Moore to wear something like this it is just it's everything i just need one more sip oh my god clean fresh well manicured guy great hygiene that's what this is giving Next, we have one of my absolute favorites that even I wear in the summertime, Silver Mountain Water. Y'all already know, I love it. It's so fresh and clean. It has that like fresh out of the shower smell. Oh, this makes me melt. This is another one of those androgynous fragrances that is genuinely very unisex. A woman can easily pull this off, but don't let that scare you into thinking it's like too girly for me. Like clean has no gender this is like i said literally fresh out of the shower i can definitely see this being worn brunch in the summertime um it's definitely giving more daytime i mean the white bottle is indicative enough it's not going to be beast mode and like projection and longevity and all of that unless you like severely overspray it <laughs> but it's meant to be like really light fresh and subtle so that's why I wouldn't suggest it for like clubbing or like nighttime in the summer. Definitely giving more daytime. You want something light, fresh and not super loud and in people's face. If you are a teacher or you're in the medical profession and you want a good high quality fragrance that you can wear into these professional settings without having a super offensive aroma, this is it. I don't think I've met anyone who like literally disliked this. Um, I mean, you must be allergic to soap or something if you don't like this. Like it's not soapy, it's like a green citrus fresh. But yeah, like the only way I want to describe it is like fresh out of the shower. Like that's literally what it smells like to me. And I love this one. I wear it all the time in the summer. Hear that, hear that little dent. <laughs> Next, we have the super classic Blue de Chanel. And of course, it had to be the EDP because I always tell y'all that is my favorite one. Just like Sauvage, I do like the EDP of both of those better than the Toilette and the Parfum. I don't care what anyone says, this one will never get old to me. We've got a ton of notes in this. Grapefruit, lemon, mint, pink pepper, bergamot, coriander, aldehydes, ginger, nutmeg, jasmine, melon. 
incense, amber, cedar, patchouli. I'm sure I'm still freaking missing some, but it has a ton in here. And I just love this so much because the opening is like actually very sweet to me. This is a traditional blue fragrance, which I love blue fragrances. I love Percival, I love Sauvage, I love Blue de Chanel. I, I love them. Like to me, you just can never go wrong with a traditional blue fragrance. <sighs> but this is just fresh. To me, it's even a little aquatic. Mm, it just, it's like my mouth almost waters a little bit when I smell it. <laughs> And it's just like a perfect all around summer one. You can wear this during the day, you can wear it at night. It has enough like longevity projection performance in general to where you can definitely pull it off for like date night, something like that. Now, Blue de Chanel is probably one of the most common out of at least what I'm including in this video. So you might wanna do something a little bit more special, a little bit more unique for a date night or some sort of special occasion. But that's the beauty of this for the people who don't want a massive collection of fragrances. Like you can just get a true few and stick to those. This is definitely a great one to just get you all the way through the summer from start to finish. It just, it, you can never go wrong. And I mean, I know I didn't include anything from Sauvage in here because I'm just so tired of y'all attacking me and hitting me with all the stereotypes about it. But I don't care what you say. I'm always going to love Sauvage. Um, but I did have a hard time picking this list and um, I wanted this list to be really, really tailored to what is in for the time, what I like, you know, being mindful of the season. So all of that, like my fragrance taste is constantly changing. My favorites for myself are constantly changing and for men. So I'm like, what I liked last summer, I might say I'd rather smell that in the fall and replace it with something else this summer. So yeah, but this year, Blue de Chanel made the cut and Sauvage will just get an honorary mention because <laughs> yeah, I feel like for me, Sauvage, even Blue de Chanel, they just, are perfect year round scents. Like you literally could wear Sauvage. The EDP, at least in my opinion, you could wear in every season. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Next up, we have my second favorite summery Louis Vuitton men's scent. I hope that that was specific enough because I'm not saying this is my second favorite overall for men out of LV, but for the summer, it's my second favorite. <laughs> You guys know my number one favorite is Meteor, and that would definitely be included in this video if I had a little bottle with me, but I do not have it today. So yeah, I'm just gonna throw in that honorary mention too. If you do want the tea on Meteor, my number one favorite Louis Vuitton fragrance overall for men, and bomb, bomb for the summer, go check out one of my other videos because I've talked about it several times. But this one here is Limon City. You can immediately smell that grapefruit, ginger, bergamot combination. It's a very citrusy opening. Oh my gosh. This fragrance is also very aquatic. It's got some water notes and then a little oomph from the sage that gives it like this aromatic type of vibe. Mm, this is giving a summer business meeting. It's so sexy and it's classy and sophisticated and not on the same level as the Reflection Man. This is like you're in an actual business meeting. I don't think I would wear Reflection. No, you could definitely wear Reflection to a business meeting or anything work related because it is very like soft and mutable for like any occasion. But at the same time, it's so sophisticated that you almost want to just save it for like special occasions. Whereas this, I would see like if I was a CEO or something like that and you know, we're meeting out on the golf course to discuss some layouts or whatever. I don't know what you billionaire people do in your free time. But yeah, like that's the vibe I'm getting. It's very sexy, it's very fresh. No offense, it's still not touching Meteor in my opinion, but it is my second favorite. So I definitely wanted to include it. So definitely make sure that you check this one out too. Mm. Next we have Governor's Island by Bond Number no. 9. This gorgeous, fresh, summery fragrance has incense, resin, ambroxan, cedar, white musk, and vetiver. It almost has like the slightest little sweetness to it. I would not be surprised if vanilla was in the notes, but it's not listed. 
but I definitely get like the slightest, like the ever slightest little vanilla vibe. And I love it. It has that same kind of fresh out of the shower quality as Silver Mountain Water, but a little less like of the green. It's gonna be a little on the sweeter side, but nowhere near as sweet as like 1 million or even as sweet as like the Valentino. It is beautiful. Like I see rich little white boys on the golf course and they're loafers and arguing over whose dad has a bigger yacht. Like it's just, it's just like money. Again, like a lot of these are that silent luxury vibe because in the summer, in the warm weather, you need to be in fresh, clean. Like think about the activities you're doing in the summer. You're outside, you're in the water, the grass is green, the flowers are blooming, like everything's happy, it's vibrant, it's fresh, it's life, it's everything that died in the winter is, is bright and living, the trees are flowing, like it is a vibe. And I, that's why I try not to be like really redundant. I know I say a lot of times like, oh, it's fresh and clean, it's fresh and clean, it's citrusy, it's it. But that is the vibe that you want in the summertime. And of course, like I said, you can wear whatever you want in any season, but you get to enjoy fragrance so much more and play around with it so much more when you learn like what type of notes, what type of fragrance categories um, are best for each season. And then also what works for somebody in winter could work totally different on someone's skin in the summertime. So what I say is not law, but these are the fragrances that I really enjoy to smell on men. Governor's Island just, it just does something to me. I literally love this, like, mm. I just don't even know how to describe it. Like it smells like you're at the Hamptons for the summer. And there actually is a fragrance called the Hamptons by Bond. So don't get it confused with this one. This is Governor's Island, but it gives me Hampton vibes. The Hamptons fragrance by Bond number nine to me actually smells just like Silver Mountain Water by Creed. Yeah, I love Governor's Island. I am utterly obsessed with it. I have really been enjoying the bond number nine scents for men i know that in the past i have said that they were overrated and that's just because i only like a very few of them for women so in terms of my collection and what i like it's not a house that i would say is like one of my absolute favorites but it's a little different with men and i do like a lot more of bond scents for men next we have Musk Therapy by Initio. I love this. This has been one of my go-to fragrances for the summer this year. It is unisex, I do wear it. But this, citrus and musk through and through. It smells like I literally peeled an orange and smeared the, the skin of the orange onto my skin and then my natural body and pheromones and oils started coming to the surface and mixing with that orange smell. That's exactly what this gives me. This fragrance has magnolia, sandalwood, musk, white musk, blackcurrant, bergamot, and mandarin. So you definitely smell the mandarin. You definitely smell those mixes of different musks. It's just so citrusy and summery and it smells like a bright sunny day. I would wear this on a picnic. I would wear this like, I don't know, like it's again, it's not date night, beast mode, super projecting, but perfect for the summertime, perfect for a nice day on the boat. Oh, I could see you on a yacht cruising the Amalfi coast of Italy. Like it's so pretty, like you just, you can't go wrong. It's literally a citrus heaven. Yeah, that orange peel is just so prominent. The mandarin is so prominent. It's like all those other notes, the magnolia, the sandalwood, I smell none of it. I smell straight orange and I smell musk <laughs> in the best way possible. But you know Initio is good for delivering a good, good fragrance that is very concentrated. It is just a beautiful fragrance, I'm telling you. Let's get into the package because you know Initio is good for it, honey. 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And then finally, we have Melissa Imperial by Creed. Another one that I love to wear myself. Another one of those really unisex leaning fragrances, but I feel like that's exactly what you need in the summer. You need something like light, fresh, just easy going, easy like Sunday morning. <laughs> Oh, I die for this one. I die for this one. I love the way that this smells on me. I love the way that this smells on men. I actually stole this bottle from my brother, Dorian. Thank you for letting me use it for my video, even though I bought it. <laughs> I purchased this for him for his birthday and he is absolutely in love. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna go around giving people free hugs. <laughs> In this fragrance, you have fruity notes, sea salt, lemon, bergamot, iris, mandarin, musk, some aquatic notes, and woody notes. Mm. It just smells like money. This is quiet, but it's loud. Look at the bottle, it's loud. If you ever go to the Creed stand at their little boutique, you see, oh, okay, Aventus, Aventus Cologne, Original Santal, <gasps> Millicent Imperial. Like, it's just there, that bold gold bottle, okay? This, as you may or may not know, was the signature scent of both Diddy and Jay-Z, two of the most affluent and well-respected men in the Black community. Like, I really just find that the brothers in particular really like this one. This is just super fresh and it's definitely going to render compliments. I will say, and I have pointed it out before, I really, really, really wish that the longevity was better. But it is so beautiful that I don't care. <laughs> I still think it is worth every penny. I still wear this myself. I still get tons of compliments. And again, just feel free to overspray because... I sure as hell do. <laughs> I can guarantee when a woman smells this on her man, she's gonna wanna lick him. Like, not even kiss him, not, not, no, you're gonna wanna lick him. Just, just like, yeah, yeah, it's giving. <laughs> it smells like money, it smells like wealth, it just smells like classy, you know what I mean? I'm a classic man, it's giving all of that and then some, you know. This is my second favorite Creed after Aventus. I know, I know, how cliche, she loves Aventus. Shoot me, but this is my second baby and I absolutely love him. This is giving a first blind date in the summertime. You wanna make a good impression, but because you don't know her, you don't know anything about her, you wanna take a safe route. You don't want, cause the thing is, as much as I love Aventus, there are people who do not like it and they just think it is, too musky or too whatever but i can guarantee like i don't I, I genuinely can't think of any scenario in which a woman would not like to smell this on you so it's a it's a very safe one because it's not super in your face but it's just enough to go huh he smells really nice you know <laughs> like make you do a double take and that's why i just love it like you would think this scent would be so much like more bold because of its bottle, but I feel like the gold just puts into perspective how royal it smells. You know, like you come from a line of wealth. I hope that these suggestions were helpful. I hope that it helped to point you in the right direction if you were considering a fragrance. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments section. I definitely try my best to respond to everyone, but I would love to hear what some of your summer fragrances are, which ones in this video you wanna try, which ones you've already tried, and which ones you're loving. Again, guys, don't forget to check down below in the description box as well to see links to where to purchase all of these things. And lastly, guys, I am finally planning my very first First meet and greet it is going to be in Michigan so I'm gonna be talking about it in upcoming videos until we actually have solidified the date time location everything like that and that should give you guys enough time to plan if you do want to come from any other states I would love to meet you guys in person. I would love to help give you an amazing shopping experience and show you some of my favorite fragrances, have it set up to where you can buy fragrances when you come to meet me. I'm just so excited. It's gonna be beautiful. Um, definitely wanna have like some drinks, some hors d'oeuvres, things of that nature. So stay tuned and I will definitely keep you guys posted about the meet and greet that I will be having in Detroit, Michigan. So you can meet the perfume princess. But I love you guys so much. I thank you for watching my videos as always and I will see you next time. One big room full of